And here are some practice problems dealing with graphing lines when the equation is given in standard form. Something times x plus something times y equals something. And in all of these cases, we, we will graph the line by finding the x and y intercepts. And those two points will determine the line. So in example number one here, I'm going to start by letting x equals 0. And you can see that if x equals 0, we're left with 2y equals 4. So y has to be 2. So that's one point. And then we'll let y equals 0. And if y equals 0, we're left with 4x equals 4. So x is 1. So that's another point. And that's enough. You can then sketch in the line. And I'm using a ruler, but you could sketch them in by hand. But you do want to try to be neat and try to be accurate. And number two x plus one half y is negative two. We'll take the same approach here. Let x equal zero and see what happens. If x equals zero, we're left with one half y equals negative two. So y has to be negative four. You could take this equation and just multiply both sides by two. And, and you're left with y equals negative four. So that's my y-intercept is negative four. And then I'll let y equals zero. And if y equals 0, then x is negative 2. So that's my line. There you have it. OK. okay let's look at number 3. 2x minus 4y equals 8. Okay, so let's let x equal 0 first. If x is 0, that leaves us with negative 4y equals 8. Don't forget that negative. And so y has to be negative 2. So that's my y-intercept down there. And then if I let uh, y equals 0, then I have 2x equals 8. You could think of this as 2x minus 0 equals 8, but saying 2x equals 8 means x has to be 4. So there we go. And number 4, 8x minus 2y equals 8. So I'll say x equals 0, and that leaves me with negative 2y equals 8. Again, don't forget the negative sign. So y is negative 4. And then if I let y equals 0, then I have 8x equals 8. So x has to be 1. So there's my x-intercept. So then you have the x-intercept and the y-intercept, and that's enough. And you can draw on the line. Okay, and let's look at number 5 and 6. Okay, number 5 here, 1 half x plus 2 thirds y equals 2. Now this has fractions in it, but the same approach still works. If I say x equals 0, then 1 half x equals 0, so that term goes away, and I'm left with 2 thirds y equals 2. And I can solve that little equation just by multiplying both sides by 3 halves. And uh, everything's going to cancel out over there, and I'll be left with, oh, I get the, the 2's cancel out here too, and I'm left with y equals 3. So if x is 0, y is 3. And then I'll let y equals 0. So if y equals 0, 2 thirds y equals 0. And that leaves me with 1 half x equals 2. And that's pretty easy to solve. Just multiply both sides by 2. And you're left with x equals 4. So the y-intercept is 3. The x-intercept is 4. And you can sketch the line through those two points. And number six, 
x minus 2y is negative 4. Okay, we'll start by letting x equals 0, and that leaves me with negative 2y equals negative 4. So y has to be 2. So there's my y-intercept. And then I'll let y equals 0. And that just leaves me, leaves me with x minus 0 is negative 4, or x is negative 4. So there's my x-intercept. And that's all I need. Two points determine a line. And I'll draw it in.